I will call the meeting to order. Um, we uh, do we have an audience? We do. We do. Okay. We do. We have an well, audience. Then I will uh, say this is the irregular meeting of the architectural board of review. First time we've ever done anything like this on Zoom. First time we've ever done anything like this on any kind of technology. Um, anyway, welcome all. So call to order and roll we'll call, uh, uh, Mike. Okay. Um, M Member Deegan. Present. Uh, Chair Hunter. Here. Uh, Member Dahlman. Here. Member Waymeyer. Here. Member Dittmar. Here. And Member Kerouac. Uh, Matt, you're muted. Is Matt there? Maybe. Yep. Matt, can you just say here now that you've unmuted yourself? I don't see Matt. I, I see the, if I hit panelists, I see <clears throat> the indication that he's there. I'll text him. There. Thank you, he's right there. <laughs> Matt, are you able to say present? You ready to keep going, Mike? Okay. Um, and Member Callahan is uh, is absent. Okay. Okay. Um, if there's anybody anywhere that has a non-agenda item, um, let uh, Mike know or Glenn know. Glenn is is the keeper of the of the agenda back there, right? Well, not the agenda, but just the public comment. So if you are okay. joining us by, yeah, real quick, if you're joining us by phone or online, um, if you want to talk at any time during this meeting um, by phone, you can dial star nine as a niner. Um, or if you're on Zoom, there's a Q&A button at the bottom, looks like a couple speech bubbles. Um, you can just type something in there and you, if you want to be recognized and we can bring you on. Um, we can read your question or we can let you speak, whatever you'd like to do. So. Again, if you'd like to talk, just make your, make us aware of you. And if not, we will keep going with the agenda. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda is the consideration of the, uh, the minutes of March 3rd. Uh, anybody have any comments, corrections, remembrance? Nothing? Okay, then I guess we have to do a roll call on the approval of the minutes as written. Uh, th that's right, yeah. Um, Member Deegan. I was absent, so can I still approve them or no? Um, th that is a good question. Do you... I didn't think I could say anything if I wasn't present. Right, I, I think you're correct. You would probably abstain yeah. from that. Well, Glenn, did you want to say something on that? Or... Yeah, so if I remember, as a non-attorney, if I remember Robert's rules right, you aren't saying that you are personally a witness. You're just, your vote just means that you, you basically that you trust the secretary got it right. Okay. okay, so you can vote if you like. Um, I'm perfectly fine with the minutes. Okay. <laughs> member Dahlman. Aye. Um, member Waymeyer. Aye. Member Dittmer. No problem. And Member Kerouac. So Matt, I, I see your name there, but we don't hear anything or see anything from you. Are you are you there? I don't think he's there because I just texted him. He's not responding. Oh, OK. Yeah. Maybe he logged in and stepped away from his computer. OK, we'll put him down as not voting on that. And and uh, Chair Hunter, your vote on the minutes. Uh, aye. Okay. Okay. Passes five five to zero. Okay. Moving right ahead then. Um, consideration of site permit application for bulk restaurant and hub and cycle at 72 East Scranton. Uh, if you recall, we already approved that when they were going to be in the existing cycle shop. Uh, they are now going to move uh, into a larger space where uh, uh, the gift shop is 
And so they've come up with a, a, a different configuration, same sign. Uh, anybody have any comments uh, on what they're proposing? Or should we let the applicant begin with the presentation? Nobody has any comments? Uh, so I was just curious, when it comes to the, the, the logo that has a wheel on it, how clear is it? Is it really see-through or is it kind of not really see-through? I'm just curious, has anyone seen that? I don't know if you saw uh, that actual graphic or the, the what the decal looks like um, during the original meeting. I think it's like the original one, it's just in a different spot. Mike, is the applicant here? He, he, he is, I, I think you were muted, John, but now I uh, clicked the oh. allow to talk. But um, it will be it will be see through. Um, so all you'll see is the spokes and all that material in the middle where you see the gray background. That'll all be just glass right through it. It will not be solid. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I apologize, I'm Julie. I wasn't sure. Go ahead, Mr. Chairman. I have a, an idea, and I'm going to see if you can see it. Um, and I don't know whether it makes the, uh, the, the, the square footage any different. And now I can't find it, but basically it is to take the, uh, the middle panel and run that path right through it so that the, the, uh, the sign ac actually occupies all three panels. Um, well, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, that makes sense. My dark line do there. That. Um, as long as everybody doesn't think that's too much graphic uh, over the over the window, um, we can certainly make an adjustment like that. We were trying to leave the middle open so that uh, one customers could see inside the store, but also that we conform to the you know to the percentage of, of, of the glass that we could use. Well, the middle of the of the road isn't part that you know, the lines. It's just two lines. It's clear in the middle, isn't it? It is clear in the middle. You're right. Yes. I like, I like the idea. Of I think that's a good idea, Bob. We can do that. We can adjust that for sure. I think what you'd have to do is move the uh, the bulk sign up a little bit so that you had more room to get the path to go down. Uh, right, and maybe we'll maybe we'll tweak the angle of it just a little bit. But we I can can't do really that. I, I agree. It's a good idea. I second that. Anybody else? It actually ties it together, so that's good. Sounds good. Pardon? All good. All good? Yes. Is, 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 is John okay with that? Yes, absolutely. We're totally fine with it. That's easy to make the change, and we'll make it look nice and elegant all the way across uh, to the I second you will. ending across it. That's easy. Okay. All right, so we recommend to the, to the, to the board that uh, we'll accept this based on this change we just talked about. Uh, do we have a motion to do that? So moved. Second? Second. Any other discussion? Okay. okay. Uh, Mike, roll call. Okay, so that's Neil with the motion and Ed with the second. Um, for the roll call, um, Member Deegan? Aye. Uh, Member Dahlman? Aye. Member Waymeyer? Aye. Member Dittmer? Aye. And Matt Kerouac, are you there? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Hey, yep. Yes, we can hear you. Hey. <laughs> I, I was being blocked by my computer, some security thing. So, I, I agree. I okay, great, wonderful. Okay. Whatever I'm doing. Glad, glad you made it through the security barrier. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no problem. Ten time I've done this, and you know, mean technology. Not, right. Not, not. Right. No, no problem. We all struggle with it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So the recommendation to the village board passes six to zero. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Sure. Thank no you. Problem. Great.
Did we do a roll call on that? I guess we did. We did, yep. Oh, okay, so the next thing on the agenda. Right. Which is the public hearing. Actually, we've got three public hearings now. Uh, I don't know if anybody is going to speak to any one of these projects. Does anybody know? Uh, yes, I, I think there will be people to speak. I mean, I think the applicants well, are here to speak to them. I don't know how one does this, but um, we have to swear you in at a public hearing. <laughs> so I'm just going to say it, and you can respond however that works. Um, but you're supposed to repeat after me. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, in the testimony you are about to give? If so, please say, I do. I do. Celine, there's one. OK. All right. Thank you. So. Next is the uh, public hearing to review oh, site plan. Oh, and... oh, what was that? Well, uh, one of the applicants unmuted himself and got some feedback. I think we're good now. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Next thing is public hearing to repeat, uh, review site plan signed for Animal Hospital of Westlake Forest. And I should mention that's basically the architecture too. Um, so everybody should have had a chance to look at that. It's been revised slightly from the last time. Uh, anybody have any comments on it? I don't know which is right, right, right to left. So, uh, nobody, nobody has any comments, huh? I you did. Like did a nice job. Okay, there's one. I did note that the trash um, content, contained containment is going to be staying to match the brick, so that's good. Yes, I think that's right. Yep. I mean, Anything else? My, my comments are I feel like it's substantially. Uh, when we looked at it, I feel like it was very, very preliminary. Um, and I don't know if it had been looked at since I had missed a couple of meetings there. But when we looked at this the very first time, I thought that, um, you know, they had a lot more that um, was existing that they were struggling with. And then now that I look at what they're proposing, I think it is a huge improvement over what is currently there. So I, I don't know what anybody else thinks, but uh, that's kind of my, my two cents. Okay. Julie? I don't have any comments. I think it's nice. Pardon? It's nice. It's fine. Neil? I have uh, two thoughts. One oh. is in, in driving by the... Um, I'm pretty complimentary of, of what they're doing. So, uh, but they, the majority of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, as I understand it, the parking for people in this building and the building next door is in between the two buildings. And going back to the thought that all sides of the building are important, the south facade is kind of lacking. Just like when I drove by it uh, uh, yesterday and the day before, and uh, that was one area that I was considered con concerned about. The other question I have is, is, are they moving the entire animal hospital here, or is this going to be a branch of the one that they're currently at? I think it's they're moving with the entire hospital and enlarging. If they're moving the whole thing, then I, I have a, a question, but it's not really a, a anything that I think we could direct. But it seems strange to have the name Animal Hospital of Westlake Forest when it's in Lake Bluff. So I just wonder if, if um, Brian, I see your name there, but you're muted, so you'll have to unmute yourself. Yes, yes. I want to make sure I didn't cause any cross feedback. Um, excellent question. Um, that we've, you know, built our business over. 
30 plus years and to make a move and a name change at the same time was something we thought hard about and decided was probably not in the best interest um, and initially. We are literally steps inside Lake Bluff. We've talked about amending the name to Oswald West Lake Forest in Lake Bluff, but it's already a wordy name. Um, you know, in the future, um, it's something we would consider looking at uh, to change our name, uh, but our clients know us by that name and it seemed a little risky to make a move and a name change all at the same time. Uh, we understand it's a little bit awkward. Um, our understanding is in the past, there have been businesses in that area that actually kind of try to split the, split the line between Lake Forest, Lake Bluff. Uh, we're very happy to be in Lake Bluff. Um, it's nothing about being there. It's just literally uh, to change a business name uh, when we're making a big move could be counterproductive. Um, it's not a risk we really wanted to take. Well, it's really up to the business. It, I was just asking the question, and uh, it's not something I, I don't think we can dictate that one way or the other. So, Right. I, apparently, Lake Forest Sports Car went through the same thing when they moved years ago. Yes. And you have CrossFit and Lake uh -huh. Forest as well. CrossFit and Lake right. Forest is just yeah. down from the Ferrari dealership. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll have to take some extra marketing efforts, I think. <laughs> Um, I have a question, Rob, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, the, in the perspectives and the renderings, you have a large, looks like a maple or some kind of decorative tree, ornamental tree um, that's pretty prominent. I don't see that on the site plan. Is that the intent to have that large tree in front of your doorway there? Um, we do have it, forgive me, I'm calling it up now. Yes, we have a, uh, I think there was a, there was a, a desire recommendation by the board last met that they, one member of the board preferred that to be the Cornelian cherry dogwood. <laughs> so that is still depicted. Uh, to there kind of maybe pushed out a little bit more uh, off the corner of the concrete patio that will be in the entrance. So we are, still, it's still a specimen tree. You know, it's nothing that's nothing like a maple or an oak that's going to get huge. Uh, okay. But yeah, we're still planning on having that out there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. I think Bob is talking, but I don't uh, hear anything. Yeah, Bob, we don't hear you. Uh, we see your lips move, but we don't hear you. So I think you've lost your audio there. Now can you hear me? Yep, now we can hear you. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> now can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes. All right. So, um, does anybody have any thought on Matt's uh, comment about the south elevation? That was, was that Neil. That was Neil. Yeah, Neil. The only uh, the only picture of the west elevation is uh, uh, the very last photograph that's in the package. It shows um, the west elevation and it shows a Chevy truck next to it. So as long as that's going to be used for trucks and parking, uh, it doesn't seem to me to be a big deal. And and putting part of the parapet over the top of uh, uh, the front third of that thing helps. Yeah. Yeah, I have no concern with the south elevation. They're doing a lot on this. I don't think we would need to ask them to do more. I think since it's a it's a rental building, 
and they're doing what they're doing is a little bit different, I think. At least it is in my mind. Um, so I wouldn't have any question about the elevation either since we're not building the building. Can you it's been that way for a long, long time. Yeah, I agree. But I think they've made giant strides in, uh, in where they're going. Yeah. Are we okay with it, everybody? Yes. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay, then somebody do a motion. Um, this is Matt. I move to, um, are we recommending? I move to recommend yes. to the village board um, the submittal, um, the proposal as submitted. Okay. okay. Any comments? Second. Second. Wait, was that Ed? Was yeah, that was me, Ed Deegan. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I guess uh, we'll do a roll call then, Mike. Oh, okay. Um, Member Dahlman. Aye. Member Waymeyer. Aye. Member Dittmer. Aye. Member Deegan. Aye. Member Kerouac. Aye. And Chair Hunter. Aye. Okay, motion passes six to zero. Recommendation. Okay, good. Thank you. Moving right along. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for your effort. Yeah. Thank you, that's right. Okay, public hearing to review the site plan for the Central Lake County Joint Action Water Agency. This involves a bunch of louvers and baffles on the back of the back building. Uh, we've looked at this building before with a different set of louvers and this was one of the instances I discussed with Mike and I think we've discussed it as a, at the board that uh, they go to a great deal of trouble and uh, to, to give us the information on this. And I don't know that we're qualified to actually make any com comments on it. And that it should be really maybe up to staff to say, hey, this is okay. Uh, and not, not to make them come in and, and go through some of the, the hoops that they go through. Uh, and that is what was one of our recommendations, right, Mike, to the to the village board, and they've not acted on a whole bunch of stuff we've recommended. Right. Some of that's waiting to go through with a more comprehensive, uh, you know, zoning code revision. Right. I, I think, yeah. but uh, and I, and I forget how that would affect exactly this type of application. But but you're right. There's some pending uh, revisions yeah. out there. Anyway, you can look at it and make comments on it or not. We have to go with the procedure we've got right now. Right. Do we have any comments from the applicant? Is Megan, is um, that you? Go ahead, Grant. I'm sorry, can everyone hear me? I, I lost all my audio up until the end of the chairman's speaking. Yes, we can hear you. I apologize. Um, I really don't mean to ask you to repeat yourself. So if, if there was something that, Megan, if you wanted to comment on what the chairman was saying, I, I would appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess just a small background on what we were looking for approval on was just the um, acoustical hoods that match other acoustical hoods that have been used on other parts of the water treatment facility. We're just making sure that that looks okay. Um, that's the only external changes we're gonna be <laughs> making during this project. As I understand, this is being done for uh, sound? Right. Right. What, we're replacing, do you, do you, oh, sorry, go ahead. Do you get any, any reaction from uh, uh, the neighbors as a result of other sound attenuation things that you've done? Uh, and I can speak to that one. Uh, I was actually going to ask you if you guys heard anything because we've, we've had no, no complaints from the neighbors as far as any sound or noise coming from the, the facilities. Um, and additionally, the the sound hoods that we are proposing 
are are actually created for the sound that the two different machines that would that would be running uh, will cover, but we normally will be only running one of these machines, so we, we don't expect any any noise to be heard by the neighbors. Great, and, uh, and I, would, I, I, I would just add that, uh, you know, we the village mailed out notices with my name and phone number on them, and I did not hear any comments from the public on this. How come I didn't get one of those notices, Mike? I would have called. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go that far away. <laughs> yeah. Only the right way yeah. Well, I compliment the efforts that you guys take to uh, to be good neighbors. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I have no issue. I don't know if we are going through this. I don't have any issues either. I have no issues. No issues for me either. No issues for me, so let's move on with the. Can I motion? make motion to recommend that the village board approve the proposed site plan as presented? Sure. Second. Second. Neil with the second. Oh, okay. Okay, roll call. Um, Member Dittmer. Aye. Um, Member Dahlman. Aye. Um, Member Deegan. Aye. And Member Kerouac. Aye. And Member Hunter. Aye. Okay, so motion passes uh, six to zero. Good. Thank you, the agency thanks you very much for your recommendation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next item and the last item other than staff report is a public hearing to review a site plan for alteration to the courtyard area of Carriageway Shopping Mall. It sounds like it came up in a bit of a hurry and they would like a resolution. Yes. Possible so they can get on with it. Th that's right, yeah, and, and with the um, recent um, you know, looting and other things going on at some of the other properties owned by the uh, property owner and the management company. They've had a lot to deal with on other sites uh, tonight, um, protecting them and all that. So they asked if we could uh, consider this and uh, if we want to make any adjustments, you know, to concrete color or anything like that, just uh, consider it and make the recommendation that we want and they'll make the changes and they just want to move forward and the goal is to provide uh, space for outdoor dining since uh, we're not doing indoor dining yet and outdoor dining looks to be uh, popular this summer. They're looking to create more outdoor dining space in the plaza by uh, removing some landscaping and, uh, and paving some of the center area while still leaving landscaping to the, uh, to the east and west in their courtyard. Now, their intent is to use a pressed uh, a pressed pattern for, for brick, like the, the old Bowmanite. I don't know what they're going to use. Some of so, it's good, some of it's not so good. Yeah, so that's their proposal to use that for the center circle and then use plain concrete for the um, where they're filling in the landscape areas. So the center circle is really not that big. Am I right? It looks big on the drawing, but I agree with you, Bob. It's not that big. Yeah. And I guess one thing to consider is do we want them to consider anything with regard to the score lines and the pattern on the uh, on the areas they're filling in, too? It's a detail they haven't come up with yet. Are they going to have the, it looks like big Flagstone paving pieces instead of brick on the on the sample I saw in the email. That's right. Their stamped pattern did look like a um, a stone 
pattern that they were proposing to stamp it with. So why wouldn't you not replace it with a stamped brick pattern? That, that's a good question. If that's what, if that's what the board thinks is better, I'm sure they'd be willing to uh, change it to a brick pattern. I think that's the type of thing they said, just uh, let them know what we think is best and they'll, they'll do it. Well, they were planning to dye it red. So I would think red brick would be better than red flagstone. <laughs> Since you mentioned dyeing the concrete red, uh, most of the times when I've seen concrete dyed red, it ends up being pink. So as long as it, it, it may start out red in the beginning, but it pretty quickly fades with sunshine. And that's okay, as that's what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, is that going to be dyed through? Or is it just sprinkled on top? That is a good question. Let me let, let me go to that email and see if they specified. Typically, it's an admixture in the concrete, but. Um... That's what I would think they would do. Yeah, yeah. okay. And they use a color release agent um, that kind of enhances it. Yeah, under B, I do see the 25 pound integral color. 25 pounds per cubic yard. Yeah. That's a lot of color. <laughs> I am in agreement that the red feels a little wrong if that's their intent. One or the other, right? Pattern changes or the color changes? Yeah. I'm gonna throw out a different a different thought and it's, it's hard to even describe what this is and that should not have any, uh, just have the concrete and the color of if it's one that's supposed to be red and then do random saw cuts through it uh almost in, a, in a, just a series of straight lines that are all in different diagonals and crossing each other and uh, making sure that each one of those is, is big enough to not create cracks uh, that needs somebody to actually lay it out yeah what type of pattern just random you said well it would be the saw cut through it or yeah. you could do it with with dividers. Uh, probably that'd be better. And uh, yeah, just sort of random uh, uh, straight lines that, that are just going through it, making a pattern. I have a feeling they don't intend to go that far, that they're, I think they're a contractor, not a designer. And yeah, they prob probably don't sure. recognize that this should be done. Yeah. I'm. I'm Thinking that you've got brick on the on the pavement elsewhere, right? And you got real brick and artificial brick next to each other. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Or a brick? Can they do a radial pattern somehow? Since it's a, a round space. Probably. Something that's kind of simple. Yeah, simple, but relates to the round shape. Yeah. How did we do it in between the um, Chase and Chipotle? That was that, you know, we had kind of the same idea there. Mm. Was that a paver or was, I think those are pavers, right? I think so. That's been there for many years. Yeah, it's been there for many years now. Yeah. Yeah, the, for some reason, this courtyard, the carriageway courtyard always feels in disrepair. 
Yes. Probably because it is, but okay. it might be nice to keep it simple, you know? So I'm with you, Bob. You know, maybe something simpler is better than trying to fake something. Yeah, I'm looking at the aerial photo in the um, courtyard there over by Chipotle is um, it's, it has um, circular bands of concrete with pa pavers in between the concrete bands. Okay. So if we suggest something, do they have to come back to us? I know they're trying to get this done. Right. No, that, that's up to you guys if you want to uh, approve it with a condition. Um, and, you know, if they're happy with the condition, then they don't have to uh, come back. Is there any way we can help them out so we can approve it to move ahead and we can, we yeah. can sit down with them and say, let's do this, this, or that, and come to, a, come to a conclusion so that they can, in fact, move ahead? Right. They've got some demo to do. They've got, you know, I don't know, they want to get moving and yeah. Right. Right. This, well, can we uh, approve it with a condition that they, uh, you know, if we want changes, approve it with a condition for certain changes and uh, let them move ahead with that? Yeah. We it has to go to the village board, right? That, that, that's right. Yeah. But we can get it on next Monday's meeting with the village board. So if we were to, if we were to approve it subject to them coming back and uh, I'm not sure that we'd want to force them to wait a month but maybe they no. can come back, come back to to Bob, or uh, or one of our other architects uh, to sit down and re and review how they're going to do the colored concrete, and uh, how they're going to do the scoring and so forth. Just the details. Sure, sure. I'd be comfortable with that. I don't know that, that we can expect them to come back with something if, if Mike says it's the contractor. Uh, I think we'd almost have to do a layout. I mean, uh, require them to come back to get. And, and they, we'd have to sit down with them. I would be can't sit down with them. Uh, maybe we could, and at least you know say let's try this. And if they say no, you know we it's too hard or it's too expensive, whatever. But the the going back to what you said they originally have, I didn't see that that photograph. I didn't. I, Missed that in the in the submittal, uh, but something like a bluestone shape is kind of weird. Yeah, but if they could do circular shapes by Chipotle, why can't they do a circular shape in the courtyard? Well, that's kind of what I was talking about. I, I didn't remember how we did that at Chipotle, but that was sort of the same idea, sort of random lines through there. Yeah. But there they had a designer. Right. So what's the best way? Should we recommend that they don't use the Bowmanite, you know, the stained concrete, and don't use a flagstone impression, um, and that to review a pattern in a plain concrete with board members, something like that? Something like that. It could still be colored concrete. Yeah, just not with the bone, just right, without an imprint. Yeah. And maybe I not necessarily, that. not necessarily trying to match the, the brick color. Yeah. Right. But do something that looks better when it fades, because it's going to fade. I would guess. I would guess that they don't intend to uh, uh, to mix the color in the concrete truck, because that gets really expensive. Well, I don't know. It, just looking at their mix, they say that's part of the mix. Where do they say that? Uh, B. Yeah. The last page on the submittal. Uh huh. And go all the way down 14B. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I don't yeah, so it's an integral color. Like, so number seven, B7 is 25 pounds integral color. Right. So usually that's how they do it. 
I know you're right that it's an expensive way of doing it, but it's the right way to do it. So they are doing it the right way. But instead of red, maybe something other than red. Yeah. And one of you who has the pattern, I just was curious what it looks like. I don't have that in my packet either. Uh, it's on the email. It was a photo. Oh. Why it's not in the packet. <laughs> not yeah. mine either. It shows like a blue stone or a flagstone pattern, but they're saying they're using red dye. So that's the disconnect. Besides, yes. the pattern may just be wrong anyways. Right. Glenn, how do I share my screen? I could show that photo if I knew where yeah, the share Yeah, we put that screen. up for you, Mike. Oh, I see. I, I green share screen button here, right? I just click that. Yep, I just turned it on. Yeah. OK. There we go. Everybody sees that? I see. No. Yes. Yes. Got, it. Got it. Thanks. Sure. Oh, OK. Now, how do I undo that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop share. There it is. OK. Yeah. Wow. Learn something new on Zoom. You are a Zoom master, Mike. <laughs> I will be eventually. Um, who's going? So I, I was just trying to move this forward. <laughs> so that's all. Bob, if you have a way to move it forward, so I. Um, I'm just trying to say. Sort of sitting down and drawing it. No. Well, so so it sounds like we're we're talking about uh, approving this with the uh, condition that they come back with a uh, score pattern and a color instead of instead of red and instead of the stamp um, concrete, right? And they and just review that the the score pattern and the color with uh, with staff and the chairman. Yes. Yes. That would be yeah. fine. Perfect. Okay. Fine. Okay, that was a good so, motion. <laughs> but I can't make a motion, so someone else has to. I... So moved. <laughs> Second. <laughs> okay. Do I okay. take the vote on this? <laughs> I can yeah. do it. All right. No, can no I... call, Mike. Okay. Oh, did we yeah, do it? We... Huh? Someone... I'm sorry, I missed the motion. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh, Neil, Neil just said so move to to what I had said, which was the uh, motion to approve with a, uh, a score pattern to uh, come to uh, staff and the chairman to review instead of the stamped concrete and with a, uh, a an alternate color to be uh, considered. Got it. Sounds good. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for the roll call vote, uh, Member Deegan. Aye. Member Dahlman. Aye. Member Waymeyer. Aye. Member Dittmer. Aye. Member Kerouac. Aye. And Chair Hunter. Aye. Okay. I think we need the to recommendation do this like now, though, Mike. Mike? Yeah. I mean, as soon as they could get together or, or, you know, they may not have any idea what we're talking about. Right. Um, do we have any drawing of that, of that, uh, that area? Other than what, that little thing they gave us? Um, you know, I would have to look in our records and see if I can come up with a better drawing of that. I, there, there might be one somewhere back there in our records. You know, I tried to get over there today and you couldn't get there from here. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, no. oh, the construction on 176? Yeah. Yeah. I was 25 minutes late for a doctor's appointment this morning. <laughs> oh, no. So, anyway. Yeah, do you want me to email you over a drawing if we have one of the court? If we have one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll take a look in the morning. But, you know, we don't want to slow this thing down, whatever this thing is. Right, right. Okay, okay. sounds good. Did, did we did we vote on this? We, we did, yep, the, the motion okay. passed, yep. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> and being, being okay. that I don't have to stamp it, might. The, if it's an increased cost or a different cost for scoring the concrete, it might be a wash. Right. 
There might be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can blame me for whatever comes out of it then. Okay. All right. What else you got, Mike? You got a report? Um, no, nothing really for staff report. We're still working on um, on, on building code amendments uh, when when possible. But we, I've been uh, you know pretty much swamped with permits for May, so uh, so we don't have those ready. Those will probably be a few months down the road. Um, and uh, I've got nothing else to report. Anybody else have anything? Mike, anything further on that uh, bicycle area that you're going to do at Village Hall? I'm just curious as to what was decided there. Oh yeah, yeah. What about the bike area? Yeah, well, that that brings up a good point. We, no, I mean, we never settled on a. Uh, I mean, there wasn't a clear consensus on on one uh, location location there, and I don't know if we settled on whether we're going to do it this year or whether we're going to punt and wait till next year. Glenn, are you there? Do you do you know where Drew settled on the uh, on the bike rack? Yeah, the bike rack project was on a list of capital projects recommended to the finance committee to uh, defer or eliminate based on um, COVID's finding 19, excuse me, financial trouble. So um, I don't think that is final final yet, but we are, um, uh, I don't think there's any need to work on it at this point okay. at a committee level. Okay. Okay, so postponed to a future year. All right. Well, that's it then. So I guess we can uh, motion to adjourn on our new experiment here. Second. Somebody? Second. Motion to adjourn. Motion to make motion. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Uh, Second. Second. Don. Okay, all in favor? Oh, okay, got to do a roll call for everything. Hey, right? Actually, I think this is the one thing we're allowed to do a, uh, a voice vote and don't have to do a roll call. Okay. Everybody in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And we're done. All right. Thanks, well, th guys. Yep. Thanks for joining us on Zoom. Glad it uh, worked for everybody pretty well. Thank, Thank you for organizing. Nice. See you, nice. you next time. Good. Right, yeah, bye. good. Bye-bye. Yep. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.